Hello, welcome to another episode of our blind tasting session. We are in La Morra with Stefania and Nicola from Tredi Berry. Thank you guys for having us. Thank you for coming. <laughs> To need you to uh, blind taste the wines, yep. and in four to five minutes, give us your best guess. Starting the timer. Littorai, Pinot, Guernica, Quindici. Littorai is a great winery. <laughs> Have you been to to the to no. the area? No. no, it's very close to where where I worked. Okay. I like the nose a lot. It's really fruity, kind of pure. I think it's Pinot. Uh, I haven't tasted yet, but uh, from the nose, I think it's Pinot. Mm. Mm, mm. No, quite alcoholic, actually. Mm. It's kind of darker for me than the normal perception of Pinot Noir. So. Darker in fruit? In fruit. Mm. Yeah, but Steffi, you remember you know, yeah. Chakra. <clears throat> yeah, and, um, that's true. You know, not all the Pinots are, are light. And Burgund yeah. Bur Burgundy mm. style, not all are. So we, had a blind tasting, we had a blind tasting with the, with the Pinot Noir from Patagonia. Okay. And uh, with Chakra. And, oh. um, yeah, I will never say. I, mean, <laughs> then, I said Barbera from Lang. <laughs> you said that, yeah. Totally missed. Uh, but. Uh, instead, I said Grenache. And, um, but uh, the issue was that uh, then we said, wow, Rio Negro, so Patagonia, Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. and, um, Completely different from. Yeah. Yeah, from Burgundy or. Where are we? Do you think we are in the new world, old world? It's also kind of right acidity. Mm -hmm. Acidity is there. I would say New World. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's Italian for the use mm. for the use of oak. It's really good. You like it? Yeah, it's extremely yeah. good. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I think it's a it's a great bottle. Yeah, it's very clean. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> yeah, but also it's not it's not extremely clean, so it's not sterile. This is the yeah. uh, the interesting thing that. Uh, and it doesn't seem to me to be very old, so I think it's extremely young. Mm. No, extremely. I agree. Bad. It's the acidity, then. Yeah, it's it's for me the main, the main feature. So the nose, it's I, I love it because it's really fruity, it's really mm, pure. And the, in the mouth, the main feature for me is this acidity, which is peculiar. Do you think it's aged uh, in oak? Ah, yeah. yeah I would yeah, say yeah, yeah. Uh, but you don't feel it at all in the nose, mm -hmm. so then. That's a good thing, and the oak is really well integrated uh, mm -hmm. with the wine. All right, time is I... up. Oh, cuts. So. <laughs> <laughs> a five minutes. Nice. Yeah. So pick a grape, vintage maybe. Give us your best guess. Yeah. So if it's from here, I with this acidity, I would think about Barbera. But I don't know, the style reminds me more of a uh, new world, so uh, that's why I would be say... Before you guess, I want to say something. Um, it's a grape mm -hmm. that is farmed in a region that is not famous for it, so it's not it's not a problem if you don't get the region. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd say focus on the grape. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, Amerique. Hmm? Amerique. Yeah. I will keep uh, Barbera from, uh, I don't know, some unconventional now wine region for that, so maybe it would be US or okay. I don't know, Australia also. Do you remember when we tasted like Nebbiolo made there? Yeah. It was really different to mm -hmm. recognize it. So. Like a new world, Because new the acidity reminds me a lot about Barbera grapes. And, okay. But 
this city especially. Mm. What you said, you completely, you said it's, it's not uh, the, the best place to to make to grow this, to the, grow this okay. grape, and so that's why it's uh, to me it's really 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 whoa. No, no, okay, sorry, I give up. Uh, <laughs> not too many options. It's really 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 interesting and very good wine actually, uh, and. Uh, so, I would say with Pinot Noir, I say Gianluca Colombo, Pinot Noir, Segni di Langa, 2016. All right. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. But it's you, not the right you one. You freaking said yeah, the name the, of the producer. The producer. No! <laughs> God! So you all I, when I when I said when I, when I said I wanna, when I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna change I said I wanna say Stefano Marighi, but then you then I said yeah. it. then then I said uh, then I, I wanna stay north, but uh, you know I told so, you I said well, it was a Marighi. Uh, Let's tell them uh, who Stefano Marighi is. is a winemaker in Tuscany in the area of uh, Cortona, and he's making amazing Syrah. Uh, I actually. We never met him, but we only met uh, through Instagram. Yeah. And we had a phone call and he said, well, I like your project, I'm gonna send you some samples. And I only heard of him and... We never tasted wow. his wine and it's, it's great. It's an amazing bottle. Good yeah. job. Amazing. Yeah. Bravo, yeah. Stefano. Yeah. Really, great well done. Wine. Cheers almost, to you. Almost nailed it, almost. almost. <laughs> but then I thought, you know, it's too elegant to be a Syrah actually, so it's... Um, <laughs> God, it's yeah. You have to... You see, it's my fault, it's my fault. Yeah, it's your fault. You had to. Ah, oh, yes, no, you're no, right. No, you're no, right. No. Yes, let's go on that. <laughs> Here we are. So now it's our revenge time. <laughs> now <laughs> it's our turn. No. Like but that. then I, I'm not gonna be so so bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some hints. One of the hints is that this is one of the no no no, no from no. the beginning hint no no no, 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 no. It's, it's a big hint. It's a one year long. Thank you. Hmm. So. It's a red wine. Uh, compared to the Syrah from Stefano, it's a little bit more on the garnet color, so less purple. I don't see any sediment or signs of effervescence. The nose is very interesting. It shows some complexity already. So there is a primary, secondary, and also tertiary components. Good fruit, good uh, spice. Mm. Wow, it's really good. Uh, nice acidity, good tannic structure. Uh, medium length, not too... Uh, not extra long in taste, especially the tannins. Hmm. I think we're in Piemonte. Anyway, somehow it reminds me of home. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not what we think it is. It's not what we think it no. is? No, I don't think it's uh, Nebbiolo, actually, even if reminds me of Nebbiolo, but it lacks a little bit of all the flowers. I don't get all the complexity of uh, Nebbiolo. You don't get the complexity of Nebbiolo? No. Or maybe it's Nebbiolo grown somewhere else, so... Why is it Nebbiolo? <clears throat> because of the color, because of the acidity and the structure. But on the nose, it doesn't seem Nebbiolo. If it's not the Nebbiolo, the only other thing I can think of is Sangiovese. Well, so first of all, to me, we are in uh, Piemonte, so Italy, all world. Mm. Vintage at least. Grape? I don't know the grape. I don't know. Is it 100% one grape? Okay. Yes, baby. I give you a help as you told me. This is uh, the grape in its best place. Okay. Could it be Fraser? 
if it's fresa, it's exceptionally made because it's so pure, so complex, and no, 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 it, it doesn't have the no, 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 it doesn't okay. have the ru face. the rustic feel. Mm -hmm. of it. I am sorry. That's it. Yeah. You want to call it? I don't know what to call. Okay, I'm, calling, <laughs> I'm calling. uh Barbaresco 2017. Mm, I like the use of oak, it's very subtle. Cachiano de la Rosa. Interesting. Cachiano de la Rosa. It's in the style actually. 17. Mm. Nebbiolo, because I, I don't know what else could be, but from Moroero maybe. Okay. Hmm. From Moroero. Interesting. Who's that? Oh, no, it was San Giovese. No, la baby dead. So. <laughs> it was San Giovese. It was San Giovese. Damn it. Really good. It's a rosso, so it's very... Uh, yeah, 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 on the easier, yeah. easy drinking side. Yeah, and it's one of the wineries that we actually oh, we have been. Like the superhero with the. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, a Chabayola, Yeah, we... it's a great, great winery. It's Salvioni. Yeah. Salvioni. We love it's Rosso di Montalcino by Salvioni, and uh, it's one of the wineries we we love. we, we will love, and uh, we had the chance to visit last year, and it was a. Uh, so the last trip we did. Before, before, and we uh, fell in love with the wines with them. With uh, with all the package, I'd say. Mm. All right, thank you guys so much. Uh, for tuning in and for now, sure now with Sangiovese Syrah, smells of Syrah. How <laughs> 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 it will be. But it's always, it's, it's always, no, actually it's always very, you know, uh, with relative, you can see much more, no? With uh, having a comparison. Yeah. No? yeah. And, uh, and it's really, really, really interesting. Uh, Why well, instead, uh, just one glass sometimes can be so mis, uh, what is it, uh, misunderstanding. Mis bon misleading. Misleading, misleading, yeah. Yeah. misleading yes. But that's okay. why we blind taste. Yeah. No, sure. That's the fun of it. Sure. That's the fun of it. Okay. Salute. Salute. Cheers. Cheers. So Cheers. See you in the next one. Ciao. 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 Ciao.